this video, I wanted to talk a little bit more about what happens when we come to an agreement on us purchasing your land. So depending on the amount of due diligence we need to do, there are things we need to verify. We need to verify that the property has legal and physical access, uh, that the property does or doesn't have utilities, that it's, you know, is or isn't in a flood zone, um, is it buildable? So, so there's a lot of questions that we have to work through before we actually invest in the property. Um, once we determine that we are in fact moving forward, we will actually open escrow uh, with a title company or a real estate attorney. Um, in, in many cases, they will do the closing where they will actually, you don't have to go to the property uh, to close it or anything like that. They can actually uh, nowadays mail all the purchase agreements to you uh, from us to you and they manage the whole paperwork process. Um, part of the process that we will talk about is about closing costs. A lot of times sellers want to know, hey, who's paying closing costs? And it certainly depends on how much we're paying for the property. If we um, are trying to give you top dollar for your property, we may need to split the closing costs um, and they vary depending on the property. But a lot of times a thousand or eleven hundred uh, depending on, you know, the property and what's involved. Um, if we are doing kind of a, a low um, market value, we're not sure about your market value, it might be something that we can cover the closing costs and we use uh, oftentimes a paralegal to prepare documents and help us manage the closing process because in a really low price range property, it simply isn't worth paying $1,100, $1,200 for closing costs. So I hope this helps. In the next video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about uh, how the contracts work.